Hi, for today's tear down and unusual equipment, the May trademark powered by Elos. What is that? It is a pulse light air remover. It was very cheap on eBay because it is uh, not working at all, except for a few LEDs here blinking. So it works with uh, xenon flash apparently that will. Uh, burn the air uh, roots in the skin. I am missing the trimmer uh, piece here, obviously. And there is something special about this device, about where it is made. So, uh, usually it is, uh, it costs around 400 euros, I got it for 10 euros. So it is not made in China, not made in USA, not made in France, in England or whatever, not made in Russia, obviously. What is your guess, guys? Ta -da! It is made in Israel by Sineron Beauty at this exact address. So quite uh, unusual to have uh, Israelian made equipment or Israeli equipment as you want. On the back a lot of stickers with serial numbers on the software version in the base on the applicator which is probably this part. We have fan here on the side, we have power input, we have here some kind of uh, weird cover in uh, white rubber that will reveal a slot connector for a card edge connector for some kind of uh, either software upgrade or option not sure so the controls are very simple we have uh, on off we have the uh, uh, Motorized trimmer here, control on the flash control here, and there is a trigger obviously on this part that will uh, trigger the flash action, but it is not working at all, so not much to show you. So it looks like a regular camera flash, in fact, the non light, nothing special. It is a piece you can replace, it costs uh, around 40 euros, I believe, uh, replacement part. So just a regular flash bulb in this. In here we have one radial fan, squirrel scale fan, so the air input must be here and it is blowing air through the bulb and exiting on this side. Ok, so time to open it. It is quite difficult to open because you have to deal with clips all around and one hidden screw. So clips are down here in the thing. And I did already have a look inside but maybe now it will be easier this time but the first time it was really complicated to open. Ok, not too bad. So we have a flat flex here going to the top controls. So anyway, this is not going back together. So I can just disassemble it. Disassemble or whatever you want to say it. Okay. Just plastic pieces and our uh, controls, so LEDs with uh, through the PCB. And it looks like, yes, it is capacitive buttons through this uh, plastic top. Interesting, no contacts here, 
and the actually called electrode one, two, three. Excuse my dirty fingers, by the way. Okay, also a few LEDs still made by Cineron Beauty and a very small IC here. So there is an interesting device here to cable retainer thing, strain relief in two parts. So this might be a keeper for reuse. This goes to strap. So the head, now I am able to disconnect the head. Okay, we will have a look in this at the second time. In the, so, in the second part of the video, well, the second half, more exactly. By the way, excuse me for any background noise. Today is a terrible day to show the video. There are landmowers, boats, cars, airplanes, uh, air streamer, grass streamers, uh, angle grinders, everything you want, jackhammers. It is just terrible. So I have to shoot uh, little uh, bits of video between two uh, sequences of noise. So. What do we have in this? Uh, we have a fan that I will remove. Power input here. Uh, regular uh, so fuse. Uh, noise filtering, regular stuff. Breed rectifier here for uh, switching power supply, it seems. And I do not see. Uh, High voltage transformer for the flash. We have main uh, capacitor here for the power supply. We have two big um, extra capacitors here, probably for the flash, but I, I am not sure. Or oh, maybe this uh, switching uh, transformer makes also the high voltage for the flash. We have some uh, microcontroller here. I am not sure if the capacitor are discharged, so I will be very careful because it will be quite dangerous. So, okay, so you know what? Before we go any further, I will take my multimeter and I will check because I did uh, try the device but it did nothing so I did uh, not uh, keep it connected for long but uh, okay it seems we are safe and about the uh, main uh, side capacitor also okay so no danger here it is good Ah, so a lot of passive parts here maybe, uh, ah, I guess we might have here uh, voltage doubler, multiplicator stage to make, uh, yes, probably two step up voltage for the flash output and, and, and maybe it is the problem guys. Look at that. This uh, either uh, MOSFET transistor, yes, probably uh, this Q2, so power transistor, is some kind of exploded. And actually, this part, I did not touch it, I did not uh, see it previously. It's just uh, away from the PCB. It did bend the leg because the explosion was probably quite uh, beefy so it might be why it does not work interesting anyway I do not know how safe is uh, this device to use for the skin with uh, possible UV light from the flash so I, will, I do not want to use it but it is really interesting uh, failure mode um, 
it is near yes near the contacts to the head so it is probably the main uh, flash triggering uh, transistor here that will uh, enable power to the flash light so we will see if there is any other uh, electronics in the head but it is obviously the problem uh, nothing on the back side ok so now time to open the head we will start with the flash uh, piece because it looks like there is nothing special just regular xenon bulb in this little screw in the middle so this is a user replaceable part as is the uh, trimmer piece which I am missing So let's crack it open and yes as expected not much actually a big uh, thick filter here so it might be take care of uh, UV maybe a metal piece here for no purpose I believe and our flash bulb one more screw Looks like there is one more transformer on this thing. Yes, still by uh, Cineron Beauty. A lost cartridge and uh, some kind of a step up coil called TR1 in a full drive, filled with uh, epoxy. And our uh, Xenon bulb here seems to be in a quite uh, nice condition actually. So I might want to, mm, you know what? No, I was uh, thinking about reselling this part, but no, not worth the work. And I do not know if it works anyway. So, okay, interesting. We are left with the uh, applicator head, the colorist. So obviously we have a fan in here and we have firmware. This thing is really dirty because of the previous teardown of the uh, Sperry indicator. And I did leave some dust on my uh, bench. So I have two screws here and previously I have not been able to pop this cover. Uh, interesting. There is a separate piece in here but I need first to remove this cover. Did not want to come and there is no other screw unless we have a hidden screw in inside here. No. So it is just the air input to the fan on no hidden screw. So let's proceed with precision tools here. Here we are. So the push button to control the uh, flash so it is where they did use uh, capacitive buttons on the main control panel and not on this part we have one uh, assembly here with clips which is attached to this main unit quite complicated actually excuse me Try to undo the connectors, okay. No screws, it is probably not the correct way to take it apart, but okay, it works. So, just plastic shell, our um, squirrel cage fan. Very little dust in this, so it looks like it did not. Uh, 
it was not used a lot or maybe almost uh, not at all so we have uh, more flash triggering devices here it looks like with this kind of uh, transformer here coils microcontroller here with something written on it version number 201 and surely enough it will match what is written on the box ok uh, it is all on the two connectors here to the uh, devices so this one to the um, where is it already this one goes to the flash head like such and this one is going to the trimmer and look what they did use they did just use a USB plug why use proprietary things actually I wonder if it's not some kind of uh, PCI Express slot very short PCI Express it looks like it looks quite familiar here to me and USB so they did reuse the existing connectors and not uh, redesign uh, specific stuff to lower cost development cost probably we have a cable here with uh, two thick wires going to the flash and uh, seems they are uh, teflon insulated wires also on the control wires here on power to the trimmer okay so it was uh, interesting in particular for the exploded uh, MOSFET here I will probably uh, salvage some parts out of it but it is not going back together anyways uh, and quite uh, unusual to see Israeli made electronics even if really they have nothing particular really really regular stuff here regular set of components nothing special but it was quite a nice uh, surprise in fact I did purchase this item specifically because the eBay photo did show the uh, sticker with uh, the Israel address on it so I was quite curious to know how it would be inside so thanks for watching bye bye